Hey again, um, so uh, this is another uh, tutorial video I thought I'd make about um, shading multicolor things and how I do blushing. i just like to say uh, before this video starts, um, we have a, I have a Discord server, so if you, know, you want to join a community that um, is also filled with uh, like-minded people and artists, uh, you can join that. And we also have uh, polls there so you can vote on what you would like to see me draw next or any other tutorials you would like to see next, so there's that. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to give me your hard-earned money for uh, some of the perks that uh, are listed there. And I also have uh, some socials, so if you want to go see those, uh, please, please go support me there. And yeah, let's get started. So once you have your drawing all um, set up, uh, what I do, and this is for a uh, normal skin tone with a uh, regular blushing like red, I have a selection pen and I have it on a soft setting and I'll lightly go over where the cheekbones are and where the nose is. In one motion, I'll go over, I'll trace over from the cheeks to the bridge of the nose or where the tip of the nose is and um, to the other cheek and as if you as you can see here um in the picture i also uh, do the shoulders because those also require some sort of blushing and so to get the um blush effect i use a hue saturation and lumacy filter and so if with the natural skin tone uh the light one and the dark tone it's 20 and 28 on the color wheel there i set the hue to um negative 20 or 28 then i'll up the saturation by 25 and lower the lumacy by 15. as for abnormal blushing depending on where uh what color you want uh it could either be in the negative or positive range but the short answer to that is if you take the color of the blush you want and minus that by 360, you'll have uh, your number that for natural blushing um, on uh, raceless skin tone characters or like people who have who don't have a natural skin tone, it's basically the same thing. You take the skin color position on the color wheel and you minus that by 360 and you'll have your number that you want. For abnormal, again, you'll want to take the color of the blush you want and minus that by the skin tone. For uh, shading in dark things or multicolor things, it's pretty easy. Basically what you do is you take the a black color, then you add a new layer for your, uh, what your shading is going to be. Then you'll set the opacity of the layer to 15% and you basically uh, layer on the shading while simultaneously keeping the three uh, main layers 50% opacity then you can merge them all together uh, that is for the gradient shading as for airbrush shading you'll do the same thing except uh, once you have your airbrush shading down set that to 15% then duplicate the layer and merge those together for gradient lighting it's basically the exact same thing but with a uh, white and really after you have all your shading done I just treat them like they're the normal uh, shading layers. Um, if you want, I do have a, another tutorial that uh, has me go more in depth about uh, shading and all of that. So if you want to like see that, so you can actually you know kind of understand a little more about what I'm talking about, go check it out, please. And with that, that will conclude the end of the video. If you would like to download a free file of uh, each of these I just showed you, um, you can. There's a there'll be a link in the description that'll lead you to a Patreon post where you can uh, download the files. Please make sure to go check out my socials and all that, and consider subscribing if you want to see more speed paints or tutorials like this one. And yeah, that'll be it for today. See ya.